so hello everyone welcome to this new video and in this video i will be explaining the problem 72 edit distance which is a hard problem but to be honest it's not that hard i will explain you the concept how to solve this problem and you will realize that this problem is pretty easy to implement once the concept is clear so without any delay let's get into the problem so first i will be explaining through an example and then i will be coding it so what the problem says is that i have been given two words uh, i hope you would have already read the problem so i won't spend much time here so you have been given two words you have to insert a character delete a character replace a character you can choose any of these operations and the result should be that uh, the after doing these operations both the strings should become same so let's understand this problem through an example so let's suppose I have been given two strings. Uh, let one be uh, one second. Uh, let one be b cat, b cat, and one be mat. So you know how how we identify that it is a DP problem is that because here I have been given some operations that I can either replace, I can insert, or I can delete or i can do nothing let's let's let it be n nothing so these are my choices so i can do whatever i want so whenever you have been given uh, with a set of choices you can it is you should uh, think in the way that this problem is asking me to implement dynamic programming so let's understand that suppose you see here that t is matching uh, our decision will matter on uh, the character so if i uh, let's say that this string's length is n and this string's length is m so our uh, decision will uh, ma that whether we want to do any of these operations will depend on the characters that we are comparing so here we see that t t are matching so it means that if they are already matching do i need to do anything replace insert or delete obviously no because i have to return in minimum operations so what i will do is that i will do nothing let it be w1 w2 uh, w1 w2 so i will do nothing and i will uh, shift my pointer towards this a on both sides so what it it is becoming is that it is becoming n minus 1 and m minus 1 okay now i am at a here i see that these two are also matching so do i need to perform any operation the answer will be obviously no so i will again shift one step back on both of these now comes the interesting part here c and m they are not matching so i don't know what should i do i can either replace i can either insert or i can delete let's see what happens if i replace uh, let's uh, uh, assume that we are uh, replacing this string we are playing with this string so if i replace this uh, m with c i replace m with c then what happens these two will become matching and i will shift my pointer one step back okay so uh, what is ha what happened here is that I am shifting my pointer uh, at wh whichever index I am by minus 1. So n minus 1 and m minus 1. Now let's assume. Uh, okay. Let's assume that I am here. Uh, let me use an eraser to. Uh, let me use. So. so i am at here again i can uh, do another step thing i can insert a character so what will ha happen is that uh, if i insert c here i will insert c at this position okay so now these two will match so what will happen next is that my uh, this pointer will move to here and this pointer will remain here only 
so because i have inserted c here so like cat cat are matching this section is completely matching so in case of insertion the n minus one pointer this pointer has shifted by one n minus one and uh, but this pointer will remain at the same spot so uh, uh, so my another operation can be uh, delete okay i hope you have understood the insertion part so now uh, erase this uh, okay mm -hmm. so uh, now my second operation i am again here these two are not matching so what i can do is that i can delete this entirely okay so if i delete this what is what will happen it will happen that my these i have uh, matched these, these two okay whatever strings uh, characters that are ahead but uh, suppose here was x so uh, as since i have deleted it uh, this my this pointer won't move here because uh, this string here it still has to find a match for c in this string so let's say here c was present let's say here c was present so what will happen is that my this pointer the other uh, the pointer in w2 will move one step back so that will become m minus one but here it has still not found a match for it so it will pre be present here so these are my uh, operations that i have to do it will be more clear once i start coding it uh, another thing i want you to understand is that suppose you are given a string let's say race and another string is empty then how many operations do you need to do so the answer will be four operations because since this string is empty you will either have to like insert four characters here or you have to delete all characters here so whenever one of the string either of the string is empty then you have to return the number of characters size of the string that is present uh, in the another another string so now let's begin the coding part so let's assume that the string names are w1 and w2 uh, sorry x and y so so before uh, so let's uh, begin so what i will do is that i will write a function called solve so return return what solve and uh, solve x comma y comma x dot size comma y dot size so first i will be solving using recursion and then i will memoize it it will be super easy to understand once you uh, if when i will relate this to this example so after doing this i will write the function int solve string uh, ampersand x string ampersand y comma let's say int n comma int m so after this what i will do first uh, so any uh, since i am solving using recursion any recursion has two parts first is the base condition and the second is the uh, choices so let's write the base conditions first so what are the base conditions uh, this is going to be my base condition that if either of the string is empty then i will the return the size of another string so if n which is the size of x string x if n is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 then i will return what m and if m is equal to 0 then i will return return n so these are going to be my base conditions now coming to the choices so to make any choice i am comparing the characters so to compare the last character since i'm starting from end so to compare the last character let's say if x n minus 1 x n minus 1 is equal to y m minus 1 then in that case i will do something 
what I will do? I will do nothing. Return solve x comma y n minus one comma m minus one m minus one. As you have seen earlier, uh, when both the strings were matching, I was moving step one step back. So if this uh, so this will be my answer in this case and uh, now if these two are not matching what i will do is that since i will have to do one operation return one plus what minimum of the three choices delete or uh, replace or insert so solve x comma y so first let's say if i am replacing then both of my strings will be moving one step back n minus one comma uh, m minus one comma minimum of my insert and delete operations so as you can see in insert see in replace n minus one m minus one in insert n minus one and in delete m minus one so this will be basically copy pasting it so i hope you are understanding that how easy it is to implement the recursive part so solve solve i'll have to take care of the brackets now it's good so i will just uh, subtract one one so like this these have handled all the cases so it should run but it will give me time complexity error let's see uh, check for any compilation error so this is well and good but this will give time uh what tle because it will take too much time uh, since i am because i am making a lot of choices i am not uh, mapping my choices so like for every uh, non matching i am making three choices so for total uh, length it will be approximate it will be exponential exponential 3 raised to power n so to solve this problem i will make a dp vector so vector it will be only of two lines of code okay vector of vector int dp uh, and now i will initialize my dp so dp dot resize resize what x dot size comma plus one a uh, vector int y dot size plus one comma minus one so i have initialized my a uh, vector with uh minus one so it will contain all my cho choices at specific when the size of the strings are n and m uh, so I will just before returning I will just store my uh, choices uh, cho store my result in my vector so that if I arrive at the same case any other time I will already have it calculated so dp nm is equal to this and dp nm is equal to this so if uh, there is a pro sub problem that I have already solved I will just do one thing that if dp uh, let's copy it dp nm is not equal to minus one that is I have already solved that sub problem then I will return dp nm so uh, this way I will avoid going into recursive calls again and again for the problems that I have solved so you know how easy it was I, I just developed the recursive approach then I inserted one if condition on my array and the problem is solved. So I hope it is clear to you. Uh, so please uh, like the video and subscribe the channel if you understood it. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.